this was uh, about how do we search, shape search, reuse. Going on to the advanced classification. So what is advanced classification versus basic? What we can say is a new versus old classification engine because like rich client versus active workspace, MPP versus easy plan, the, the technology uh, base is new in these and it is more active workspace based and um, let's say it's more efficient, more scalable, more flexible, you know, the data formats uh, have uh, changed and uh, more limitations are removed. Uh, earlier it was only 200 attributes possible, now it's unlimited attributes possible and um, Let's say earlier you had limited data exchange formats. Now you have uh, more number of data exchange formats, not just DCXML, PLM XML, but more JSON and all. And uh, also you have an out of the box um, support for E class, uh, which is uh, uh, standard industry standard or you can say which is the only industry standard for classification in the industry. It, it has been developed over many, many years and uh, Siemens also is one of the companies supporting and there are many other big companies supporting E-Class. So what is E-Class? It's like uh, every company can define their product in a different way, but when they rely on each other for exchanging product information, uh, buying from each other or supplying each other, then there is a problem. So you can export your data, classification data, but the other company may have a different format, attributes, etc., etc. So E-Class defines a standard, just like other standards, for a worldwide definition and hierarchy of parts and attributes. Right. So it has uh, predefined uh, suggestions or uh, hierarchy and attributes. So when we say give me E-class standard data and then the, uh, if both companies are aware, so it can be very easy to interpret the data. And also it's easy to integrate with other systems like ERP system and other systems so that there is a common format. Of course, you can design your own classification structure, you can design your own attributes, but uh, when we are dealing with outside world, we need something common, which uh, which is more like a standard. So this is E-class standard, which is included uh, in the advanced classification as an add-on module. Then we have library management and specifications, which uh, uh, also were in the basics, but uh, these are also very well integrated. We will also see what is that. Yeah. A good thing is uh, it's the same license. Uh, if you already have a classification license, then you don't need a new license. So it's the same uh, new versus old, just like if you have a team center author license, doesn't matter. You can use rich client as well as active workspace the same way. Uh, you need add-on licenses for E-Class and uh, AI and uh, uh, library management um, uh, if you need uh, extra functionalities, right? Okay, so about the library and specification, this is more like um, you can, if you don't want to expose your entire library to certain departments or groups and you want to limit it for some reason for comfort or simplicity or compliances, you can do it by creating the libraries and creating the specifications so and creating the rules. Like for example, people in welding department needs a certain set of parts and they don't need to see everything. For example, they need welds, flanges, this and that. So you can set some certain rules, uh, people in certain uh, specific departments, surveys, for example, so you can make it easier and more viewable for them by putting those rules and uh, they can have the library of parts um, uh, which is shown to them with respect to certain rules or filters. And uh, yeah, 
then we can see a little bit more about E class in advanced classification or the new classification. That's a demo where we also navigate and show you how E class library imported into Team Center looks like and how you can use it. Yeah. Over to you, Jadeep. Yes. So in this demo, we will browse and navigate through the E class hierarchy. So as you can see in the first panel, we are going through the E class hierarchy out of which we are selecting desired class. So according to the selection, it will show the number of object classified in a particular class or a group, which is visible in the right side panel. Now from that, we will go through the required object and it will show all the related properties to that particular class or selected object. Now, if you see in the classification tab, it is showing all the properties related to the AC power supply object. And moreover that we are applying some filtering criteria so that panel is also visible in the right, left side. So if needed, you can apply filter criteria. I think on the video, video is paused. Could you check this? Yes. Okay, now now. It is playing. Uh, yes. So you can see E class functionality provides all product related information. So based on your requirement, you can apply various filter criteria. And according to that, it will show the various properties groups associated with that particular object. And if you want, you can edit particular property group and you can edit the value as per your requirement. So as you can see on the screen, we are going through the different property groups and according to that property group, it is showing various properties and if you need, you can edit that. So this is what E class functionality provides. And moreover that in the E class functionality, you can maintain various version of 